Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Undisputed Man here, back with a new video, and I'm gonna be doing more outside vlogs, so I'm out here at Union Square, Manhattan. I'm just out here chilling right now. So in today's quick video, I wanna talk about pandering ass sims. Now, if you pay attention to what uh, a lot of men say on the internet, and some of these men know who they are, um, but you have a lot of men on social media that say how black women need to be protected and men need to start respecting black women, but they never hold black women to the same accord. They never hold black women to the same standard. Now, one thing I hate more than anything is a man who never holds women accountable. And yes, you can hear a truck in the background, but uh, a lot of these sims, beta males, um, cuckless pussies that have no dick between their legs, these men never hold women accountable, specifically black women. Now, black women walk around, they disrespect black men on the daily. They talk about how broke um, men are broke, dusty, all this other shit. But these same black men who, who pandas today, um, pandas to black women, they never hold them to the, to, the, to the same standard. And this is why a lot of black men, they're leaving the country, they're getting their passports, they're going overseas, they're going to different countries, they're building families over there because the black family, for the most part, is dead. Black, uh, the black family, for the most part, is dead. Now, that's what pisses me off. If, if, you, if you're a simp, if you're a beta male provider, if you still um, suck on your mother's titties uh, on a daily basis, if you still get coddled by your mother, if you coddle her, because most likely she don't have a man either. Um, Y'all never hold black women to the same standard. And you need to hold your, first of all, it starts at home. A lot of these men who simp, and who, a lot of these men who tell black women what they want to hear instead of telling them what they need to hear is the exact reason why Derrick Jackson became popular and why Derrick Jackson made a lot of money during his time. Now, of course, Derrick Jackson got um, exposed as being a fraud because he was throwing men under the bus, which a lot of simps do nowadays. They throw other men under the bus to pander to black women and to pander to women in general. Derrick Jackson became popular because he told women what they wanted to hear instead of telling women what they need to hear. And what black women need to hear and black women in general and women in general is that if you're not feminine, corroborative, submissive, friendly, uh, childless, the chance of you finding a good man is almost slim to none. Almost slim to none. But yeah, what, what, what pisses me off the most is that Sims will never uh, come to a common ground that black women need to be held accountable. Now, the reason why a lot of black a lot of black men pander to black women, it's not because uh, they believe what they say. A lot of simps don't believe what they say nowadays. The reason why a lot of men pander to, uh, to black women, specifically if he's a black man pandering to black women, the real reason why he's pandering is because he's scared of the outrage of, uh, or the attacks that black women are gonna throw at him. So, Black men, uh, the easiest thing for, for, for black men to do is pander to black women. Y'all need to start holding black women accountable. And this is this is the exact reason why um, black women will never be better. Because y'all too busy pandering. Y'all too busy telling them what they want to hear instead of telling them what they need to hear. We've seen this with Derrick Jackson. we see this with other men as well that got popular because they was pandering to black women. You don't believe most of what you say. A lot of men who uh, a lot of men who, who pander to black women and tell them what they want to hear, you don't even believe most of what you say. You be, you believe it because that's how your mother raised you. And nine times out of ten, your mother don't have a man. Because she was getting her back blown out back in the 70s and 80s. She had you and she spread a negativity to you that pandering to black women is a good thing when it's not. How are black women supposed to be do better? When, when you're pandering to them 24-7. Black women who are out here disrespecting Kevin Samuels. Black men who are disrespecting Kevin Samuels because he died from a heart attack. These are the men who wasn't raised right. These are the men that was lied to by their own mother that told them, hey, if you pander to black women, they're going to love you. No. Nine times out of ten, when you pander to black women, at some point, they're going to turn their backs on you because they don't like simps. They don't like beta males. They only like what tickles their ears. And what tickles their ears is a man who lies and tells them what they want to hear instead of telling them what they need to hear. And those same black women who you're pandering to, they're going to turn their backs on you. And when they do, 
Don't come crawling back to the red pill saying we was right the whole time. Don't do it. Because any man who who, who throws other men, men, other men under the bus are men that we don't trust and, and we don't respect. So if, so if you do, if y'all simps out there do decide y'all want to crawl back to the red pill when these women turn their backs on you, don't even try it because we're not going to accept you. So, yeah. So... I hate pandering ass I hate beta males. I hate men who pander to women instead of telling them what they need to hear. Y'all too busy telling women what they want to hear because it tickles they, they it tickles their ears. So of course they gotta like it. So if you tell a black woman, oh you you can never do no wrong, of course they of course they're gonna start to believe that because they were never told that they that they could do wrong until Kevin Samuels came around and they started to hate Kevin Samuels because he wasn't going to pander. And I'm damn sure not going to pander when it comes to black women. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to hear, whether y'all change or not. I don't give a fuck about uh, that y'all get mad. I don't give a fuck that y'all get angry. I don't give a fuck about none of that because after the day, I'm not going to pander to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all need to hear instead of telling y'all what y'all want to hear because that's the only way you're going to change. And if you don't change, that's your problem. That's not ours. So all the sims out there that continue to pander to black women, you can continue pandering to them all you want. But they got to turn their backs on you at some point. They, they are going to turn their backs on you at some point because black women, for the most part, they don't love you. They don't care about you. For the most part, they're our enemy. And you don't realize they're our enemy because you're too busy pandering. I tell any woman of any race the truth, whether they like it or not. I don't care what ethnicity she is. I don't care what race she is. I don't care what culture she comes from. If she operates um, like she's controlled by feminism, I'm going to tell her the truth. I tell my, my female cousin this all the time. You're in your 40s. No man is going to have a baby with you. No, no, no man is going to waste his sperm on you. Why the fuck would, would a man get with you in your 40s when he can get with a woman who's 25 years old and he can have a, have a child with her and build a family with her? You're done. You're done. Most men are not going to waste his... Uh, money, energy, attention, and time What we call meat He's not going to waste that On a 40 plus year old woman He's not And most OBGYNs Don't recommend women to have children past 42 Now I'm not saying women past 42 Aren't having children But it's very rare So a lot of these other women They think that they could just uh, have babies at 50 years old No you can't Most of you aren't and I tell my cousin this all the time. So the same way I talk on, on social media is the same way I talk in real life. I'll tell any woman in my family, uh, a, a female that I'm friends with, even though I have no male or female friends because it's pointless to have female friends. But I'm, I, I would tell any woman that, that if you're over 40, no man is going to waste his time on you when he can just get a woman who's 22, 23, 22, 24, 25 years old. He's not going to waste his time on a woman who's 40 plus years old, especially if she's a black woman. If you're a black woman and you're over 40 and you're single and childless, you failed that life. She has no kids. My cousin has no kids. She never been married. And that's 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 no shade or disrespect. But she has no family. So she has no legacy to 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 spread once she passes away. And that's sad. How does it feel to see everybody else getting married and having children? But but you're a woman in your 40s and you never had children or a husband. That's sad. And that goes for any black woman. You're, you're, you're not special out here. So if you don't build yourself up from a young age to be feminine, corrupt, to a submissive, friendly, and childless, don't expect a man to just come in and give you the world because it's not going to happen. So, so yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm out here in beautiful Manhattan. I'm just out here chilling right now. But, yeah, so it, the, 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 the truth hurts. This is why women hated Kevin Samuels because Kevin Samuels told the truth and they didn't like it. And a lot of women who, who hated Kevin Samuels, y'all, y'all, you are all in the same position that you was in before Kevin died. So obviously, what Kevin said was true, and y'all didn't like it. So, yeah. So I'm gonna leave the video here. As I said, uh, I'm just out here chilling in beautiful uh, Union Square, Manhattan. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, I'm just chilling out here right now. So I'm going to leave the video here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.